drugs prohibitions and restriction of sale regulation 2011 food safety and standards for toxins and residues regulation 2011 environment and public health environment is a geographical area which surrounds us and provides conditions for survival of human beings animals trees and four other living day by day to, due to human activities such as no proper dispose of non biodegradable and plastic things and because of discharge of industrial and agricultural waste in water bodies and due to emission of hazardous gases from automobiles and from chimney of factories. This will give rise to global warming and many other hazardous effects on our environment and of health of human beings too. Protection of environment is an issue on global level to safeguard living beings. Many species are endangered our area due to polluting environment. Contaminating air, water, and food have adverse effects on our health. Our food is being polluted by adding artificially prepared manners which are further mixed with water and polluted water too. Effects of polluting environment can be seen on large scale. First for global warming, increasing in that rate. Martin Luther King Jr. once stated, of all forms of inequality, injustice in human health care is the most shocking and inhumane. Health is a fundamental human right, indispensable for the exercise of other human rights. Every human being is entitled to the enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of health conducive to living in life in dignity. Chandra Prabhu Jain College of Higher Studies and School of Law had attained the prestigious opportunity to organize the national seminar as an attribute appurtenant to the Louis Piesta 2017 Law Fest for the past two days. This year, our prestigious college has the opportunity and has received thereof a plethora of participants, a total of 61 participants, who have not only shared their views on this pertinent subject, but have gone to the depths of this topic to give out their own propositions for the same. The primary objective of this year's seminar was to highlight and reflect on some of the legislative promulgations based on the main genre of healthcare, health laws in India, issues and challenges with the aid and with the aid of the amendments to the fundamental right, Article 21, alongside several other ancillary laws which are combined together to devise a more smoother functioning for the event. Now for the first session, Professor Dr. Vijay Pal, Vijay Nakha, excuse me, was, his, was the esteemed chairperson, Professor A.P. Singh was the resource person, and our very own event coordinator and vice principal, Professor Dr. Dinesh Babu, has graced us with his presence. The first session was based on one pertinent sub-issue, which was on the topic of right to health as a fundamental right, and received a total participants of 18, no, 18 people who had made their delegate submissions. Now, Ms. Rishali Sharma, alongside her co-author Nikita Abadai, Ms. Swamita Mukherjee, alongside uh, Mr. Um, Apurva Kumar, Ms. Neelam Singh, alongside her co-author, Ms. Shupangi Gupta, are some of the few people who have made cutthroat presentations and views on the same aspect. Ms. Asta Sharma and her co-author, Mr. Lavesh Bhatwa, serving human life. Failure on part of the government hospitals to provide timely medical treatment for those in need of such treatment results in a violation of their right to life. Now this statement was stated by Ms. Deepika Upadhyay and was also endorsed by the judicial system in the case of All India Lawyers Union versus Government of National Territory Delhi. With Mr. Sachin Niklani and his co-author Mr. Supreme Raj of Campus Law Center, Delhi University have regarded that under the canopy of Article 21, so many rights have been sheltered and grow, founded and growth from us are the core concepts of right to life. While the statement is the facsimile of another author's work, its significance is somewhat held by the second session of the national seminar was chaired by the distinguished Professor Dr. Subhash Chandra Singh, Dr. Ashok Kumar, and upheld the role of the resource person. 
Ms. Shweta Chanchal has made an articulate remark regarding consumerism in medicine by stating that the rise between the rabbit and the turtle, where the Indian health laws are the personification of the turtle and the medical advancement is the personification of the rabbit. Except in this tale, the rabbit has long ago won the race. Medicine as a precursor to human health can only be promoted if the legislation supporting it is smooth and, and is subject to constant amendment. Or else it would be not. Our prestigious guest, Professor Dr. Neeru Kumar, who is acting professor in the Delhi University and has worked in Delhi University funded project titled Locating Women in the Context of Asia. She has also achieved the Best Teachers Award for the academic year 2014 15, conferred by DHE NCT of Delhi. She has a team of over 20 years. She has been asked as a resource person and chief guest by Global Fund to fight AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria associated with Alti Mahavidyalaya to motivate volunteers to work with positive mindset towards helping people who are suffering from the life threatening disease. She has done her PhD from GNDU ASS, ASR Punjab, India in the year 2008. She is also a member of Indian Association for Commonwealth Literature and Language Studies, Comparative Literature Association of India. Now we request you, ma'am, to enlighten us with the, with the theme. For a very elaborate introduction, I don't teach, let me please clarify, I don't teach in Delhi University department per se. I teach in a college of Delhi University and my college is Aditi Mahavidyalaya. Uh, my, my first and foremost experience as I was sharing uh, with uh, Mr. Chakravedi, uh, I mean, Narela and I thought Narela is a village where I am going. I don't know where he's invited me. And as I was coming uh, from my residence to this place, I was, I must say, I was pleasantly surprised. And uh, the broad roads, the greenery, and of course your campus. And, and, and before I say anything, let me please have you all have an applause for all of you. You've done a very good job. Applause for all of you. And Mr. Kajuri, I must say, your students are far better than a lot of others that I've heard. So, you do to you as well. Very happy to come here. All right. Uh, coming to the papers, I am not a law person, I am an English person, I have no clue whatsoever about law, but I did get to learn a lot from all the papers that I kind of heard. There are, there are, uh, there are students who are talking about environment, you are talking about environment and it affecting the health issues, you are talking about the fact that we need better, stricter laws, you are talking about the fact that we need to start working at the grassroots levels that a lot of the people in the rural areas are not getting the kind of medical aid and facilities that they should actually get. Also most importantly, the difference between the medicines, I am sure we have all seen that Satyamit Jaite show of Amit Khan where he ended up calling up the mayor of one of the cities of Rajasthan. The difference between the medicines that we get and the generic medicines, the person and you are going to go out in the society and you are going to work your cases. But my one only submission is that please don't become too greedy, don't become too money minded so that you forget the cause. When you talk of, okay, one, uh, how much time do I have? Six words. Oh, thank you. Uh, when you talk of health, and you all know the definition that uh, WHO has given you. You all know what basic health is all about. You are all aware what are the health issues. However, one a point that I would really like to touch upon, which unfortunately none of you did touch upon, is also the spiritual health. Because spiritual health has also a direct bearing on the physical and mental health. None of you touched upon that because if you are in that zone spiritually, if you are in that 
area of well-being, uh, where your consciousness is concerned, let me tell you, you would definitely be better off. Everything, I'm not an out and out law person, but I am, I am very happy to know that you people are coming from an academic background. I am very happy to know that you people are aware what a paper presentation is all about. My another submission would be for all you budding lawyers and when you go to other colleges and when you go to other universities to present your paper is please uh, uh, don't misunderstand me but it is very important for all of you to stick to the time. A lot of you as in a lot of limit of the time provided to you. And, and not once but twice or thrice. And when you go out in front of present your case in a very succinct manner, I am very sure the judge is not going to be interested in what you want to say. So you really need to take care of the time that is